Back to a place today that I'm fished for um, quite a few years. Last year I tried to get up this river but um, the uh, flow was right up so I just um, had to turn back. I couldn't cross the river and um, so this is actually further up the stream that I've ever been. So, But just um, down there before I had a bit of a mishap in the river and um, took a dunking and um, got all my camera gear wet so I'm not sure what the damage is from that yet um, I know the GoPro that I've just bought, the Hero 7 uh, got wet because I had a, a microphone plugged into it and um, it's still not working so, um, so I'm pretty gutted actually so it's, a, it's, um, it's hard to now um, sort of relax and enjoy the fishing once you've done something like that so I'm going to try I guess it makes sense that they'll be in the aerated water Warmer time of the year. Got one. Well, it's kind of right where I would have expected a fish to be, right near that. Yeah. Solid little rainbow, chunky little rainbow. Beautiful fish, actually. Oh, yeah. Up in there's got to be something. Yep. <laughs> there, there was something. <laughs> Pretty quick to spit it. Yeah, yeah, I saw him twisting in the water, so he did a good, good, hard attempt. Yep. <laughs> Cool run through here, Just um, I just got busted off. Um, I kind of struck too soon and too hard with um, my dry fly dropper rig. Fish, I'm pretty sure came up and took the dry. Um, it was a surface um, dis disruption, the surface splash and that, that I saw and that I reacted to when I struck. So um, I had a drop in it for as well and it's busted off at the dry fly. It wasn't a big fish, so I was surprised about that. But um, So Kenyon's um, had a, had a had a few casts through here as well and he's he had a couple of hookups which um, sort of dropped on the take um, so it's good to see good numbers of fish up the stream that um, haven't been up for years I actually came up tried to get up here last year um, but the flows and the, the water was just up too high last year and I just couldn't navigate my way up the stream so I had to turn around about here and head back down so um, the water's a lot lower this year we have, haven't had much rain this summer so everything's down quite a bit so it's quite easy to navigate up the stream so pretty cool, pleased about that um, and um, looking forward hopefully to an awesome day. Just going to set my rig up again, Kenyon's just gone upstream and uh, I'm just going to catch up with him. Yeah, right along the edges, yeah. Yeah, right, right here where it took, so that's just a foot of water. <laughs> No, he couldn't get it in his mouth. It's a smaller fish. That, uh, they're freely rising, but uh, I think they're sort of too small to get the fly into their mouths. Oh, <laughs> that was a better fish on the nymph. It didn't stay on. Yep. Rainbow. 
time by the look of it. It's okay. Yes, on the dry. Yeah, that was um, right in the fast water, actually, in the deep fast water. I didn't actually mean to to cover that piece of water, but that's where he came up and took the dry. Yeah, it's quite a good, good fish. Bumblebee hanging around. Are you still fishing with an indicator? Oh, yep, there you go. <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. Oh, good fish. Pretty adept at uh, letting go of the hook in here. Yeah, that's a good fish too. Oh, big eel in there too. See a big eel? Yeah, yeah, just down there. That's a big eel. There's another fish chasing it. Was oh, that that eel? eel. Oh, that's the eel. eel. Oh, there's the eel. Look at that. Trout and an eel. And the eel's going for it. He's going for it. <laughs> Whoa. You come up behind me now. Yeah. Nice one. Keep your eye on those eels. <laughs> look at that, look at Good the stuff. condition of that. Nice. <laughs> Through your legs. Okay, we can we can see see a big big fish down in here. So it's right under the indicator about now. Yep. Oh. Yep. Oh, that was a fish too. Yeah. <laughs> Try it again, so rigged up again. Let's see if we can get down to um, this fish. We think there's a couple of fish sitting down deep in this uh, pocket here. So, um, tied some fairly weighted nymphs on and just uh, see if we can entice them. Yeah, it's making it hard work, isn't it? The blowing downstream. Yeah, it's in about there where I expect there to be something good. There. Whoa, ho, ho. Oh, on the rock. 
<laughs> it got wrapped up. Looks like it might be wrapped up. It's a good rainbow. Nice one. That's a good fish. Pretty solid. And so a lot of times you'll see the gills from the steelhead and salmon we get in the states and they've got their gills ripped off where they got in the gill net but they um, successfully twisted out of it and ripped one of their gill plates off. So I'm actually used to seeing that okay. fishing from the states. That might have been an old fishing wound. Okay, thank you very much mama. Look at that. Ah, here comes the you. Eel versus trout. <laughs> Here's the eel. I'll just wait till I can we can see this fish. Go for it. Yep. <laughs> you didn't take that. Yep, perfect. He didn't take it. <laughs> He's quite selective. Your fly's coming up to him now. Oh, he just took something off the surface by your fly. Uh, your fly's gone past him. Yep, he's going to take it. Got him. He's a brownie. It is a brown. Well done. What a day. Managed to go for a deep swim. Yeah, very slippery rocks, so I was actually I was actually almost out of control going down a set of rapids into a big pool so <laughs> luckily I was able to regain my composure and actually um, grab hold of something but I, I managed to dunk my camera both cameras uh, luckily the, I think the DSLR is fine but the GoPro Hero 7 is um, is not working so um, so much for being waterproof massive dunk uh, all my expensive gear has gone underwater a uh, new GoPro that I bought um, submerged, I uh, had the door off the side of it uh, so I could plug the mic in here so um, water's obviously got in there, got right in the camera so I'm not sure whether it's um, it's stuffed or whether it's still going to work, I'm hoping it's still going to work. Uh, the little um, uh, mic that I used with the GoPro, that got fully submerged as well and uh, various other gear. Um, my big camera, my DSLR, um, it's okay, it's uh, stayed, stayed dry. The big lens I had um, with me in the backpack, that was all in my backpack. Uh, that one got a little bit wet, but I think that's fine. So, um, yeah, now worried that I've stuffed up a, another um, piece of electronics. Could be an expensive mistake. 
wasn't uh, doing anything uh, really hairy really it was um, I thought it was pretty safe I was just crossing over over here and um, I wanted to get up to assist this pocket of water up here and um, I just when I got in there I knew the water was almost up to my waist so um, I kind of thought at that stage uh, I need to be a bit careful here <laughs> but I had to go anyway and um, uh, that's the price we pay when you carry expensive camera gear around if you're doing this stuff so um, yeah I mean it's, it's always better if the stuff's waterproof but um, if you take the door off the side of the, um, the GoPro to plug the mic in that means it's not waterproof. Uh, so I'm pretty, I'm pretty gutted about that actually I've I mean, it's been a beautiful day and an awesome day is fishing, but when something like that happens and you think, oh man, that was just so stupid, I shouldn't have done that, you know, that I just wasn't even thinking straight. And when you do something like that, it kind of takes the edge off it, you know, you blew it, you such an expensive mistake and all the rest of it, and I can't get that out of my head, so I couldn't kind of relax in the end and just um, concentrate on the fishing. Awesome river, um, not big fish, but good numbers of fish and a lot of small fish, which is, um, is a really good sign for the system. Yeah, that's really cool to see. Hopefully if I, if I dry the camera out, um, put it in a hot water cupboard, maybe pack it in some rice or something, I think that's what you're supposed to do. Uh, fingers crossed it might come back to life. But what's not uh, working on it at the moment at all is the LCD panel. When it went underwater, um, the camera actually switched itself on, which is probably the worst thing that could happen, so um, I, uh, I heard it go beep 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 and by the time I got out of the river and um, I couldn't turn it off, I had to pull the battery out of it, but I was looking at the back LCD when it did it and um, it was actually working alright, but the LCD then had some lines through it, then it went white and then it went grey and then it just died, so I'm thinking that was... Um, that was the moment. It'll just be another piece of equipment that I'll manage to to, um, to deal to. <laughs> Fishing missions. Uh, it's becoming a bit of a habit, um, and it's becoming a pretty expensive habit. Well, that's it for this week's video, folks. Hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe, and I will catch up with you in the next vlog. Catch you later.